and welcome to another video. So today is the day we leave Chiang Mai. It is 6 a.m. We've been up since 5. Been packing up our last few bits and bobs here and there and yeah it's it feels kind of surreal because yesterday I was just having your normal day here in Chiang Mai and today I'm moving like we're moving back home and I'm so super excited so I don't know if you guys already know this if you guys watch my snapchat I announced on there that we were moving back home. It feels weird. I'm just gonna vlog today and just you know show you the trip home and hopefully you guys can join me on this next chapter uh, I know we weren't here for very long and we were planning on being here long term but obviously things change but I will do a video on that soon so stay tuned anyway it's gonna be a big long trip home so yeah I'll take you guys all along with us so yeah off we go look our suitcases Just gonna have some mango for right. a snack, pre bricky snack. We had a bit of a situation with our bags before. I realized I was like 32 kilos, which is like 12 kilos over my allowed baggage. So, um, yeah, we had to do a bit of a swap and change. And yeah, I managed to get a carry on and I decided to use my handbag. I didn't want to use my handbag, but it's all right. So, just waiting to exchange some money back to Australian dollars because we have heaps of Thai bar left over and then yeah we're going to board our flight to Malaysia which is our first stop. So we're on the plane now and we're about to take off. I'm so excited. <laughs> but we have yeah our first stop in KL which is going to be okay. So this is about a two hour and a half hour flight. Uh, I'm going to have a bit of a snack soon for like breakfast-ish again and yeah I'll show you that. <laughs> Malaysia we at KL Airport and yeah we've just been chilling for the last three hours or so we've just been snacking on like peanuts and muesli bars and Pringles and things like that nothing too special there's not like any vegan options here in the airport at all like even if there is it's pretty disgusting and yeah I don't really want to eat anything here I'd rather not eat than eat the junk food or something like that if that makes sense we're just gonna watch some friends on our laptop and um, yeah, just chill. We've got another five hours to go until I fly, so nothing too exciting. So I decided to go and buy a book because it's going to be a long flight home, I think. And yeah, I haven't read a book for ages, so I got All the Light We Cannot See by Anthony Duar. So if anyone's read that, let me know what you think. Don't, don't spoil it though. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're through in the boarding gate. What are you singing? <laughs> I feel so sick because I ate way too much junk food and my body's not used to eating so much crap, so I'm feeling a bit crook. So hopefully we get a decent meal on the plane, otherwise, yeah, it doesn't matter. I mean, we've literally eaten muesli bars, rice cakes, Pringles, chocolate. It's pretty bad, right? Yeah. <laughs> I just guess it's better than nothing, but... Yeah, I feel a bit tired. My throat's starting to get a bit sore. Hopefully this flight goes smoothly and we can sleep. If not, I'm sure we will make up for it when we get home. Yay, homeward bound, so excited. <laughs> so we're finally having dinner, which is like our first proper meal of the day. And we got a ginger fried rice, it's a vegetarian one. With um, vegetarian chicken, so I'll open it up and show you. So we've got, you see, yeah. it's pretty hot. I'm just gonna show Bose. How is it? It's alright. Yeah, I'm gonna water. See, so yeah, I'm gonna eat that. Not bad.
that long. Um, and my legs are really sore and uncomfortable. But we're nearly landing. Oh, I'm so happy. So we're here in Melbourne. We made it safely and it's like 10 degrees, but it's not, it's not too bad. Um, we're just waiting for my dad to come pick me up and I think he's just pulling up now. I hope. Yes, here he is. It's Daddy. Hi, Daddy. 